today I'm actually going to talk about whether or not you need a big camera. Uh, this is an amazing little thing. It's a mirrorless camera and it's large. It's, a, it's great. It takes amazing pictures. But I know a lot of people who got cameras like this maybe not the same sort of level, but the same sort of size. And these cameras end up in the cupboard. Whereas this one is something you can just quickly ram in your pocket, ram in a jacket, ram in a bag, and off you go. Uh, this is a Canon uh, G7X Mark II. This is not specifically a review about this camera. Okay, so here's the thing. Which camera to buy? Should you buy a big camera? Should you buy a small camera? The big camera is awesome. Why would you buy a big camera? Well, the big camera is amazing because you can put lots of pretty lenses on it and more importantly, you get amazing, amazing photographs. So I would recommend a camera like this if you are looking to ultimately become a serious amateur or even a pro. Another time to buy cameras like this where you've got interchangeable lenses is if you're doing any particularly low light photography or you've got kids that play sports, then you can put a good zoom lens on this and that's amazing. But if you are that guy that just wants to, or girl for that matter, that just wants to take a camera out and have a snap, little snappy camera, you could take your cell phone. But there is nothing more painful than using a cell phone. It is irritating. You hold and it's just awkward. And the photos are really quite cuck. They are great when there's lots of light. They are horrendous when it's um, dark. This thing is amazing. I never expected to actually love this little camera as much as I do. I actually bought it just for video originally. It does really, really good videos. Another big plus. It's small. It takes amazing pictures uh, in low light. Well, amazing for what it is. Uh, it has dedicated buttons and it is just quick in your bag and go. So if you're somebody who just likes taking photos all the time, this is the camera for you. Like I said, this isn't actually a review video. There are loads of those already, but the Canon G7X Mark II is a camera I recommend highly. Don't go out and buy one of these. But if, you, if you've got, look, if you've got the budget, buy both. Definitely buy both, because if I know that I'm going to go and shoot somewhere and I'm specifically going to take photos uh, that might go a little bit further than just simple snaps and uh, slapped up on Facebook, this guy comes with me. Um, and obviously, from a professional point of view, this obviously comes with me all the time. Um, but if I'm just like going out to mates quickly or uh, going to go and fetch my daughter from school or stuff like that, boom, boom, this little guy, this little guy. What I don't like about this, just some stuff to actually consider, um, is it's got an awesome LCD screen, but when you're trying to frame uh, uh, in very bright light, you are just similar to a cell phone, guessing. You know, you can't put it right up against your eye, blocking the light up like you, like you can on that guy. So that's the one thing that I'm not crazy about. Uh, for me, my eyesight's dying a horrible death uh, on near field vision. Uh, so I need glasses to check this out, whereas that's a mirrorless camera. Uh, and because of it, uh, it's got an electronic viewfinder adjusted to my eye, which is awesome. So I never need glasses when I'm using that. Whereas with this, I will. So that is something to consider. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned is check this out. So this camera is currently off. Watch here. And I'm going to take a photo off. And as quick as that, I've taken a picture. So it is so quick to respond. Any good point and shoot will do. I would say that go out and just spend a little bit of extra cash, buy a top of the range point and shoot and get that. So if you're looking to buy a new camera, ask yourself, what are you gonna use it for? The bottom line, if it's general snaps, here's your guy, one of these. Very, very neat, very handy. Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned on this as well is that uh, the wireless is flawless. It is a really good wireless system and so is the wireless app. Even if I have taken a photograph and I go, oh, I would really like to WhatsApp that or I'd really like to put it up onto Facebook, hook up the wireless on your phone, easy peasy, done in a deal. Well, there we go. So uh, if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Uh, if, you, if you agree, then please comment. If you disagree, then please comment because it's always interesting to see what other people have got to say.